Hello and welcome to this Windows channel and um, in our series on removing malware, adware and uh, viruses we have different methods of actually being able to uh, remove stuff. Now there's the easy to remove stuff like some types of malware and some types of adware are actually plain software that are easy to uninstall because they are found in the programs and features and you can uninstall them. So first look at you know what type you have. If you've got a program, I don't know, WebJam, uh, something that is weird, some adware, and you can see an icon appear on your desktop or you see a program in your list of all the programs that are installed on your computer. What you could do, and usually what I'll do is first of all go into the programs and features. So in Windows 7 you go into your control panel and uh, you go to programs and features. In Windows 8, Windows 10 you can right click the start button, go into programs and features and go into the list here and check for the software that you might have. Now if you've been infected very recently if your malware has been there in the past 24 hours, 48 hours, why don't you go into the top of the list and you see there's one of the columns that is installed on. Click here to check for what's been installed recently. So very often you'll have some type of malware, some type of, some type of um, software that has been installed recently and you can find it through the list and see oh okay well that installed yesterday and I started having problems yesterday so you can go by date and see what was installed so when I go to a client for example client tells me oh in the past week I've had a lot of um, you know ads and I've had these weird toolbars and whatever well I would of course check installed on, click on installed on to have it by descending order of date and client tells me okay in the past seven days I will look at what installed in the past week. Now of course some of my knowledge lets me see that some of the stuff are okay but there's a lot of stuff that could be bad and sometimes it comes with another software so you, maybe you installed a piece of software say for example uh, one of the software I'm using right now, Cam Studio, to record this is a famous, famous piece of software that installs adware and malware. And some antivirus actually tell me that Cam Studio is a bad software. The problem is, the, the software itself is good, but it is always bundled with crapware. So, of course, I'll look at, okay, I installed Cam Studio, for example, and look at is there anything else that the exact same day installed because it installs other stuff so all of that will be installed in the same day so that's one of the first things you need to check for it's pretty surprising but I would say that at least 50 percent of all the adware the malware that you get the toolbars they're all actually in the uninstalled program list and you can uninstall them easily some of these are actually, you know, they're, they're almost illegal in the way they want to install, but at least they do have the decency of putting an uninstall possibility in here and it usually works well. So check out by date what installed. That's the first thing, first move. You know, you've used uh, software, you've used all sorts of things. Well, go into your program list check out what installed in the recent days and the recent hours and you know what you might actually find the unusual stuff here and you'll be able to you know say okay well I'll uninstall it and then restart your computer and things might actually come back to normal so that's another little detail that a lot of people don't do you know malware comes in different versions the really hard almost impossible to remove one the somewhat difficult but not impossible and the very easy removal and I would say that 50% of the bad software 
of the crapware actually has an easy uninstall here. Now you'll see that some of it might be here but just doesn't want to uninstall even when you try it and that's going to be our next step. So little tips and tricks for now. Check all the programs installed. Put your computer in by clicking installed on so that you have a descending order of date to check what installed recently or since you've got you know more ads or toolbars or all sorts of weird behavior and start by removing them from the programs list be careful of what you remove is very important and remember if you had ads or a toolbar in the past three days don't uninstall things that are older than three days. It has been three days, so it's been installed at the worst three days ago. You know, maybe four, nothing more. So that's something to check for. And, you know, use Google. You don't know what a, one software is in that list? Go to Google and say, hey, what's that software? And, you know, read about it, and you'll have lots of information. So, for example, here I have an IRC chat client. Next chat. Say that you would go to a point where I don't know what that is. You could say simply in Google, what is X chat? Press enter. And you see there's this little column that appears. It says it's an IRC based client for on X chat, but it completely free both Windows and so on. So it's an IRC client. You know, you have more information, you get the home page of the website. You'll have a little more detail. Um, you can also just say, well, is XChat bad for malware and see what it brings on. And we'll see something and it's going to, you know, here the first one is XChat has been tested clean of viruses and malware, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, <clears throat> there are things that you can check for. And don't worry if a software is bad. The first thing you'll see is a forum of people going crazy and saying, hey, I installed that. It's crapware and so on. So this is another tips and tricks video for anyone that needs to find out what is infecting its computer, giving adware, giving malware, and so on. And of course, we'll have a few more videos, uh, including one where I'll show you how to manually remove some stuff. Because in the end, you, if you have the worst kind, there might be a possibility that you just have to basically... Um, you know, remove it manually by going into the different folders and checking out everywhere on the computer. Hope you enjoyed this series on removing malware and the viruses. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. We'll give uh, you'll know when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up helps on YouTube. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. It's always a pleasure to have your feedback. So thank you for watching, and hope that you will follow us on the channel.